From the previous lectures, we learned the basics of how networks work. We learned that devices on the same network communicate with each other using packets. So regardless of what you do on the network, whether you're watching a video, whether you're logging into a website, sending chat messages, sending emails, regardless of what you're doing, all the data is sent as packets. Now in the network, devices ensure that these packets go in the right direction using the MAC address. So each packet has a source MAC and a destination MAC and it flows from the source to the destination. So in this example, we have the client, it has this MAC, we have the access point, which has this MAC. And as an example, if this client wanted to send a packet to the router, it will set the destination MAC to the router's MAC address. Therefore, by default, each device only receives data that has the destination MAC as its own MAC address. But if you remember, I said in wireless networks, if you're within range, then you'll be able to capture all of this communication because these packets are literally sent in the air. So we can just capture them even if they do not have our MAC address as the destination MAC. To do this, we need to change the mode of operation of our wireless interface so that it operates in monitor mode. So let me show you what I mean. If I go to my computer here and run iwconfig this time, so we see an if config which lists all the interfaces, we can use iwconfig to see the wireless interfaces only. And you can see we have LAN0 right here, which is my external wireless adapter. And you can see the mode of this adapter is set to managed. What this means is basically this is the default mode of all wireless devices. And what it means is this device will only capture packets that has the destination MAC as the MAC address of this device. So basically it will only capture devices that are directed to my Kali machine. But this is not what we want. What we want is to be able to capture all the packets that are within our range, even if they are sent to the router and even if they are set to another device. So to do this, we need to set the mode to monitor mode instead of managed mode. So as usual, before you can change the options of your interface, you have to disable it. And previously we seen we can do that by doing if config the device name, which is LAN0 in my case, down. Then we can enable monitor mode. But before we do that, I'm actually going to run a command to kill any process that could interfere with using my interface in monitor mode. So the command that I'm going to run right now is not mandatory, but Running it will actually give you better results when you come to running the attacks that you will learn as we go in the course. So this command is going to be airmon ng check kill. Now you'll notice when you run this command, it will actually kill the network manager that usually runs in here. So you'll completely lose your internet connection. But this is no problem because we will only need to be in monitor mode when we are running pre-connection attacks. So attacks that do not require us to connect to any network. So we actually do not need internet connection to run any of the attacks that require monitor mode. Now we're going to enable monitor mode. So we're going to do iwconfig followed by the interface name that we want to enable monitor mode on, which is LAN0. We're going to say that I want to change the mode. I want to change that to monitor. It's a very, very simple command. We're using iwconfig to change the mode. We're given the name of the interface that we want to change its mode. We're saying I want to change the mode and I want to set it to monitor mode. Now, if I hit enter, you'll see the command will run with no errors, which means the command got executed properly. 
And finally, we'll need to enable the interface, again, similar to what we did when we changed the MAC address. So we just have to do if config LAN0 op. That's done. Now, if I run iwconfig again, you will see that the mode is set to monitor now. So basically, this interface now can be used to capture any packet that is within our range, not only the packets that are directed to this computer. That's why in the future, you'll see how we can use it to sniff packets, to analyze them, and even break into networks. So in the future, if I say, use your interface in monitor mode, this is what I mean. You'll basically have to enable monitor mode as shown in here. Now, I've also included a YouTube video in the resources of this lecture to show an alternative method to enable monitor mode. Just in case you got errors with this method or you tried to follow something that I do in the next lectures and it didn't work, then you can come back and try the alternative method. But if this worked and if monitor mode is enabled successfully, then you don't need to watch that video. You can just continue with the course. One more thing to keep in mind, not all wireless adapters support monitor mode. So for this to work, you need to make sure that your actual adapter supports monitor mode. There are a number of adapters that support that. And I've included another video again in the resources of me talking about wireless adapters, how to pick the best one and which ones that I recommend and use when I'm testing the security of networks.